Hello, this is Pat with Petresca Papers. I am back with my Halloween fall version of Home Sweet Homes junk journal pamphlet booklet. I've created some different papers for fall and Halloween and we're going to make it today but there's not a reason I need to redo these to show you how to do these. But what I am gonna show you is a different way to bind. As you can see, whenever we get our signature in with this original way of binding, which was so simple, we really need some more space. So that's what we're gonna do today. But sneak peek, so here's the roofs, excuse me, doors and windows, the roofs, the bases for the house fronts, and here's what we're gonna use to create our covers. So the first thing we're going to do, and what we would usually do, is score this down the middle, but we are not scoring, we are going to be cutting down the middle. So, let's cut. So we're going to cut right down that middle. I am going to use the green for the front and the orange leafy for the back. I'm going to cut that little bit of white off of all of it. I'm not sure exactly how much of it we are, how much will be cut off, but we're just going to get rid of it at the get go just so we're not bothered by it. Same on our green. And again, this is going to be the inside of our booklet. But we are going to do a fabric hinge. Now, could you use paper? You sure could. But if you think about paper, every time you fold, open and close it, you do compromise that paper a little bit over time. So I am going to use some fabric. If you've ever used Tyvek, you could use some Tyvek. But I'm going to use today some tea-stained fabric. Look at that. I put that out in the sun with one of my stencils. Isn't that amazing? Just love it. But we're not going to see that with what we're doing. All right. So this will be our inside. This is where we're going to put the fabric. But we need to know where we're going to put that. So we need to do some guidance here because this is all going to get cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and just put that around there. We need our roof and we're going to use this nice brown roof right here. And we're going to do another chimney like we did in that last one. I think I showed you the chimney. I've done so many videos. Okay, so that can go right like that. I'm going to draw my outline. It'll help me place these when I'm ready to glue them down. Now, I don't necessarily have to choose what I want for my chimney yet. I just need to get that outline on here. Okay, and we can always cut that down. So here we go. This is where the difference is. We're going to need a piece of fabric. 
And we're gonna go, we can go that high, I think. We'll find out. Right here. So this is my length. And then width, I want it about I want it to overlap about that much, about an inch on each side. So we want it about two, about two inches, a little bit more maybe. Let's see. Let's go two and a quarter. Right there. Okay. Well, what did I trim? I trimmed it the wrong way, but we're going to go right to there. I don't know what I tore. I tore it weird. Okay. So this is going to be... I think I want it just a little less than that. I don't want it too much up on that chimney. I want it right like that okay so we're going to glue this down and then this is going to glue on top with our chimney there also so i will get that chimney but let's get this glued on first i am going to use what am i going to use I think I'm going to use my wider tip of my art glitter glue. I might usually think about using, I have used, what's it called, Fabri-Tac, but I really think that I want is to glue down fast. Okay, you know, you know the problem. Okay, here we go. How far are you gonna go? Right there, ooh, we got a good glop of glue there, didn't we? Now, if you've watched me, you know I don't usually do this, but I am gonna smooth that out a little bit so we get a good coverage. And, Put that on right like that. It's a shame we're not going to see that, huh? Okay, get rid of that string. Okay. So, what this is going to do is curl around to the back side of here. And we can go ahead. Wow, I did make that a little too long. Let's trim just a titch off of it since it's so easy to do. And we can glue this on to that now. And then we'll use this as our pattern for both to cut. Okay. All right, here we go. We're going to go from here down. Now, when we sew in our signatures, we're going to be sewing them in to fabric. Okay, pull this around. And this will all be hidden under our base papers. Okay. So far, so good. I hope so. Now, I am going to... Before I start trimming that out, I'm going to go ahead and glue this on, and I'm going to use glue stick. Oh, look at you go. You go, girl. Look at that. I love it. It just keeps coming. Don't go away. Don't do that. You don't want to waste that glue. You're too expensive. Okay. 
get that little edge distressed a bit. And we are not decorating houses today. No, we aren't. Because you can do it. And watch that other video. That looks good. Okay, here we go. Let's glue this down. And get this base on and get the roof on and the back on. I don't know if we're going to get the back on. I don't know if I printed all my papers that I was supposed to print. Okay, here we go. Right there. And right there. Okay. Lovely. Now we need to make a decision for our chimney. What are we going to use? For the chimney. That's the same as the roof. Let's see, do I have a scrap of something somewhere? I'm just wondering how that would look. No, it needs to be printed. Well, who are we going to sacrifice? I have some of that. I did. Where'd you go? Maybe over here. Okay, we're going to sacrifice a roof. Yes, we are. We are going to sacrifice this, uh, I think this one, right here. And let's use, where did that piece go? We're going to use you as our template. So we need a piece that big. Sorry if I wasn't on camera. Doing some measuring. Chop that off there. Okay. Distress a bit of those edges that we might see and let's glue it on. That chimney needs to go on before the roof. Okay. I don't know. I did not get you on there very well. I skimped. All right, there we go. Now let's get our roof distressed and get that on there. Okay, where'd you go? There you go. Because we definitely need that white taken care of. We can trim it a little after. Okay. So here is our roof. Okay, let's get that glued on. I'm being more careful, not rushing. I'm using my glue book. Okay, here we go. Right there. And right there. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come back down. Come down. There we go. And a little over. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. That's not going to work. All right. Don't you love watching mistakes? We're going to just take you and scoot you down. Because we can cut that off up there. And it's just going to be a shorter chimney. Okay, if you want a longer chimney, don't do what I just did. Did I promise perfection? I don't think I did. So if you were expecting perfection, I'm sorry. 
It's not here. Wow, we've got a distressed roof now. Okay. Let's get this. That and that. Boy, I am right on my marks, aren't I? Okay, here we go. Trim. This is where it does, it comes that it didn't matter. It was just a guide. Just a suggestion, as my husband likes to say. It's just a suggestion. And right along there. There. Okay. This we save because this is very handy for other little projects we might make. So here's the inside and here's the back side. And this is where I do not have my papers printed. But you know what? We're just going to use this one. This is a one that didn't make the cut. And we're just going to go ahead and use it so that you can see how nicely it finishes up that binding. Okay, so we're going to go like this. Right along here. And we're just going to glue it on. Okay. Just like we did before, we're going to just put it all along here. fabric and then this is going to be glued right there and there just like that and then we're going to trim that out and if we need to we can go in with a little bit of glue on the edges if I didn't get them as well as I should have, which I'm thinking I didn't. Right along there. Right along there. Okay, let's get a little glue there. Some there. Let's get home folder so now what you have is a bigger spine and if you wanted it bigger if you think you're going to put in more signatures go ahead and make that a little bit you know don't leave or leave a bigger space than I did so that when you are ready with your signature, you are going to sew it right into that fabric there. So I'm not, this is as far as I'm gonna take you. This just gives you that different hinge on that inside and it introduces you to the new fall slash Halloween papers. These will be in my Etsy shop. Again, if you like this, please subscribe, comment, share, all those things. Ring the bell so you know when I download something else. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate your time. Bye-bye. Have a great day.